He's Paul Feinbaum, the uh, voice of the SEC, the SEC Network commentator, live from SEC Media Days in Alabama today and tomorrow on the SEC Network. And Paul, good morning. Uh, do we have any drama at SEC Media Days? Well, yes, we do. Uh, Nick Saban just walked into the hotel here and about 500 of his faithful were screaming and I'm sure Nick Saban will be addressing the, the Rory McIlroy comments. Any moment. <laughs> Is he like Elvis? Uh, I, I was in, I was, I grew up in Memphis. I think he's bigger than Elvis. He's certainly thinner <laughs> than Elvis at the end. Uh, yeah, Dan, I, listen, I've covered this, this man uh, for many, many years, but uh, you know, someone said, do you think Nick Saban dreads walking in this hotel? I think he, he loves it. I mean, he walks in uh, you know, I, I covered this, by the way, but I haven't seen anything quite like it since Moses parted the Red Sea. <laughs> and fans are screaming. They, I went out to, to meet someone about 5.45 this morning. There were already 100 or two fans. And they, it's not like they, you know, they sit out and have a, a latte with, with Satan. I mean, they're just screaming his name. He looks up. He gives kind of a very awkward, almost a feminine wave. Because he, uh, as you know, you, you know, Nick, he, he's not really an extrovert. I mean, he just... He doesn't like to talk to people unless he has to. So it, it's it's just humorous. And then 15, 20, 30 cameras follow him around like uh, he's about to be named Donald Trump's vice presidential uh, running mate. How good is his team this year? Uh, by normal Saban standards, uh, they're off a little bit, which means that they'll probably go 11-1, and one, win the SEC, <laughs> and be in the college football playoff. But for the third year in a row, Dan, they don't have a quarterback uh, last year, of course, they had Jacob Coker, a transfer, a graduate transfer from Florida State. This year, uh, the graduate transfers uh, went to uh, the, the big one went to A and M. That was Trevor Knight of Oklahoma. Uh, so, but that doesn't matter. Lane Kiffin is still there, even though he probably doesn't want to be. Um, and as long as Kiffin is running the offense, and they have uh, five stars across the line on defense and a wide receiver, they'll they'll probably win again. Why doesn't Lane Kiffin probably not want to be there? Well, <laughs> you know, Lane Kiffin, uh, three years ago, was fired by SC. He took this job uh, on a one-year deal, thinking it would lead to a, a head coaching position. And even after two SEC titles and the national championship, for whatever reason, he is still toxic with athletic directors. And I think that's frustrating to him, because I, I think he's really a pretty good coach, and he's shown what a great offensive mind he is. But athletic directors, I mean, tell me this. How, how could you hire Will Muschamp at South Carolina, who, who failed – at Florida over, over Lane Kiffin, who, who, who didn't have great success at Southern Cal, but, but, but shows a great deal of imagination. Well, I also think personality plays a role. You can, be, you can have no personality and be a great coach and be like Saban and Belichick, but you have to be a great coach. I think there's part of that now where you got to win press conferences, and Lane wasn't, he wasn't a great personality when it came to that. No, uh, he, he he lost press conferences like forty nine to nothing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he, he he is kind of a, a, an interesting guy. Um, and and I, I I once criticized him, so I'm not going to try to sound like I've always been on the, the Lane Kiffin bandwagon. But 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 I, I think what he's done at Alabama in, in two years is 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 is, 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 is remarkable, Dan. And yeah, you know, I hope he gets another chance. Uh, I mean, I, I, he. He couldn't even get an interview last year at Syracuse. Uh, I mean, I got an interview yeah. at Syracuse. <laughs> the Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.